Hello everyone. We're gonna review another tablet. This one is from Hoyon. I still to this date do not know if I'm pronouncing that correctly. I'm sorry, <laughs> Hoyon. Um, this is the HSX10. No, HS610. I'm awake. Alright. throw the lid halfway across my room. You can see it's all very nicely packaged, very shiny. 10 out of 10, good plastic. And like most of these medium-sized uh, non-screen tablets, it's pretty thin, lightweight, feels good. Um, back's got some grippies on it. Looks like we've got two, four, six, twelve buttons plus a side spin and a center button. So actually quite a few hotkeys, which is awesome. And on the tablet itself, it looks like there's a numbered um, ruler across the top. Yeah. Thank you for choosing Hoyan. No, thank you. Awesome. There is obviously a instruction manual for downloading drivers, which I am going to stop the video <laughs> and go do, and then come back. Because I learned the hard way that if you try to install drivers while streaming, it's not a good time. It's not a good time. You lose everything. <laughs> but yeah, I'll put a link in the bottom description for where to go, and after I trial and error it myself, give you all some hot tips on getting drivers working, because that's usually the most frustrating part of this entire process. Over here on the side, we have a lovely pen. Nice. Got a grip. It's pretty light, actually, which I don't mind. Actually, I know some people like them heavier, but I actually dig it. Ain't nobody got time to lug around heavy pens. Um, tablet, cord, nice little stand. Yeah. As they do. And... This is something. Oh, it's a USB converter? I'll figure out what these are later, but they're cool. It, it's definitely like a, a this thingy to this thingy converter. Which might come in handy, I guess, if you had like a Mac or something, maybe? But I don't. I got that thing. So, uh, we're good. All right, I'll be back in a hot second and hopefully with some functioning drivers. All right, and we're back. So drivers installed uh, pretty pain painlessly. I almost said painfully. <laughs> no, it was actually really easy. Um, I'll put a link to the exact driver I downloaded. The only warning I have is when you do go to install the driver, it will auto shut down all of the programs you have open and then force restart your computer afterwards which is fine because that's how drivers and stuff should be installed anyway just a fair warning make sure nothing important is running <laughs> when you're getting ready to install these um, but once they're installed you'll get a screen like this this is sort of like the back end of all your stuff um, so you got like your press keys, which you can set here, pen, work area, uh, Windows Ink is enabled. That's usually what you need to get pen pressure working. Um, if you're having any problems with pen pressure, definitely mess with Windows Ink first. You might have it disabled. 
anyway so um the tablet itself is super smooth and responsive actually i'm pretty impressed with it like it's just it, it's ready to go it came here to draw and it's gonna do it <laughs> I think my favorite thing about this tablet right off the bat is actually the spin wheel. Um, it's got three settings, zoom in and out, adjust breast size, and scroll up and down. Um, my scroll is set to zoom in and out, so that's just the same thing. But the uh, this brush size spin thing is my jam. I'm into it. Um, there's a ton of key bindings. Or everything else you'll probably want to just play around and see um, most people have their preferences for key bindings and you've got like 12 buttons to play with so you should be more than fine um, the key bindings I find myself most commonly using are the alt key because it's a color picker if you hold down on alt you can like color pick red color pick blue and do all of that without ever leaving the screen which is really nice once you already have a lot of colors down um, spacebar lets you whip a nene all over the place and then of course undo and erase um, those are really the only four I find myself really using but this one's got 12 so yeah actually really smooth. I'm just barely even touching. I uh, unfortunately do not have the time to sit here and paint a full picture. But, even just from playing around a little bit, this is more, more than enough, honestly. Usually the most important things when you're looking for tablets is like pen pressure, response time, and number of hotkeys and stuff they have for just your ease of use and workflow. And this is pretty sweet. I also like how light it is. Um, usually the non-screened tablets are fantastic if, I mean, not even if you're just newer to art. Like I use non-screened tablets for traveling mainly, just to carry around. They're uh, much easier and lighter to carry around in like a backpack or something, which is what I do. Um, I worked professionally on non-screen tablets through and out of college for years, so they're a fantastic option if you're looking, if you're already in digital painting or looking to get into digital painting. And this one in particular, I would definitely recommend on how fast it is and how many keys over here there are alone. Like, that's pretty nifty. Oh, and side note figured out what these guys are for. They are Android converters. So you can take your USB port from your tablet cord and plug it into this USB port and then plug this into your phone. It only works if you have an Android phone. So uh, Android users rejoice. You can do some cool stuff. But uh, yeah. 10 out of 10 would recommend I realize they're kind of paying me to say that, but you know me, I don't lie. I don't care enough to lie. Tablets are tablets. It's a good bean. <laughs> Happy arting, guys, and good luck. Oh, and if you have any questions with like driver problems or whatever, you can ask in the comments. I'll see what I can do, but general rule of thumb is just Google, because a lot of these tablets have a Q&A sites and a fact stuff to help you out. So uh, yeah. Good luck.